Hey. Sorry if I scared you. I know I have somewhat ghost-like features. My uncle used to say, you look like someone starved a virgin to death. <laughs> this, yeah, I can see it. Don't pander to me. Peter Gregory said specifically to trim the fat. They actually tried to diagnose me with a wasting disease because of my slender frame. No, it's not great news. We love the name Pied Piper. It's a classic fairy tale. Well, I looked it up. It's about a predatory flout as two murders children in a cave. Hey, Jared, you know who else is Canadian? Justin Bieber, the Hitler of music. You know, um, Hitler actually played the bassoon. So technically, Hitler was the Hitler of music. Dude, that was fucking badass. What did he say? He said he was gonna get in his truck, drive down here, and beat the living shit out of me. Why did you say that was your address? Say any other address. I don't know. He, he did. He's got a very powerful voice. What are we gonna do? If you keep screaming your name, it forces the assailant to acknowledge you as a human. Richard, um, could I speak to you? <sighs> okay. Yeah. He's the least cool guy I've ever met. Uh, it was stupid and loud. Uh, honestly, you're better off. <laughs> I suppose. I, I had a fine night. I, uh, I had some Pollock paneer and I watched a documentary about Liberia. Mm. You really think that you can come between me and Richard Hendricks? We're partners, okay? And I've devoted every second of my waking life for the past two months to him. Okay, I am devoted to him and to the precious thing that we're building together. I'm his partner. I can tell when he's vomiting uh, what? because he's nervous. No. Or when he's vomiting Never mind, Kate. Sad. I'm fine. Or when he's vomiting because he had cilantro, which he loves, but he shouldn't have because it makes him. Uh, Jared, hey. Thank you. For what? Uh, you know, everything. I feel like we don't appreciate you enough, so thank you. Are you, are you crying? Are you crying? Ah, oh, don't do that. Don't cry. Hey guys, I just had a thought. Okay, so this is it, right? A lot of successful startups launched with a different business model. And when they ran into trouble, they pivoted to something new, right? Like Instagram, that was a location-based check-in service when it started, and then they pivoted. Or chat roulette, okay? That was social media, and then they pivoted to become a playground for the sexually monstrous. Dude, you are fucked up right now. Yeah, you're pinning bad. Well, I'll admit, I'm sleep challenged. I just spent four days trapped in a steel box out on an oil rig full of robot forklifts. So that was hard, but I'm back. I am recovering, and I am focused, and we're gonna pivot. Don't lose faith, guys, right? Look at me, look at me, look at me. We've got a great name, we've got a great team, we've got a great logo, and we've got a great name. Now we just need an idea. Let's pivot. Let's pivot. That might be the last time we see him alive. Hi. I'd like to talk to you about a company called Pied Piper. What does it do? Good question. Maybe you can help us find an answer. What if Pied Piper was an app that could attract rodents? You know, like the fairy tale for purposes of extermination or to feed your pet snake. We're not here to tell you what to do with your rats. We're here to get you rats stat. Would you be very interested? Somewhat interested or not interested? Which one? Which one? Which one? You've heard the phrase, time to pay the piper, right? What if there was an app called Pie Piper that could tell you to a statistical degree of certainty whether you were going to heaven or hell? Very interested, somewhat interested, not interested. Which one? Which one? Which one? How much would it be worth to you if I told you I had a GPS app called Pie Piper tracking the location of your child? I can follow your child anywhere, and there is nothing you can do to stop me. Most missing children are never found. Interested, very interested, or very interested. You have any weapons or drugs on your person at this time? Why, yes. Yes, I do. Huh. <laughs> Adderall. This is a highly controlled substance. Are these yours? No, those belong to an underage kid that I brought to my house. Yeah, sir, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to ask you to come with me. It's a kind invitation, but I have too much to do. I'm pivoting. Let's go now. No! I'm pivoting. I'm, I'm pivoting. Now. I'm pivoting. I'm pivoting. Jesus, are you okay? No what? Yeah. I, okay. Yeah, all good. They, uh, they let me go.
<laughs> Who let you go? When was the last time you slept, Jared? Yeah, absolutely, David. They offered $5 million at $25 million post-money valuation. More than I thought. Shit, they were nagging us. Negging? Negging is going negative. It's um, a manipulative sex strategy used by lonely chauvinists. So I downloaded Wajid's bro app out of curiosity and found it very sticky. I've never felt like I was anyone's bro before. The only people who have used that term with me were assailants. Well, get some sleep, my bros. I'll set the meeting and um, then I'll go find some hoes to prioritize behind you. Are you trying to say bros before hoes? It's sexist, but it's about friendship. We did it at Huli all the time. We'd schedule meetings with companies so they'd explain their technology, then we'd use their ideas in our products. Like what happened to Yelp? Yes. It's like when somebody says they want to go birding with you, but really they just want to get you alone in the woods so they can take your binoculars. Richard, if it makes you feel any better, I put that Branscombe guy in his place. I dropped him from bro, but not before I sent one final angry bro. What do you mean? You, you can make them angry? You can make bros angry? Well, he made this bro angry. I'd, I'd understand if you took it. Thank you, Jared. But Hooli was like an abusive spouse to me, you know? Like um, that guy who married Julia Roberts and sleeping with the enemy. It was dehumanizing. But then you, Richard, you pulled me out of the life and you gave me hope and you gave me a sense of self-worth like Richard Gere did to Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman. This is weird. Every day here has been like that shopping spree scene. I'm putting on hats. Well, Richard, firstly, congratulations on finally being funded. I hope you took a little time out to enjoy this moment and celebrate. I certainly did. You did? I did indeed. I celebrated earlier this morning. You did? This morning? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but now it's down to business. Can you just tell them? Oh, I have several times, but um, they just kept saying that if I didn't waste so much money at the butthole doctor, then we'd have enough money, but I pay for all my medical out of pocket. So this is the team. Uh, whoa, I'm just gonna say it. This guy fucks, am I right? Cause I'm looking at the rest of you guys. This is the guy in the house doing all the fucking, am I right? You know I'm right. This guy fucks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> guys, um, this is actually pretty serious. I mean, we're all cool here, but we know each other. So obviously when uh, Dinesh calls me retarded Frankenstein, or he describes me as AIDS lady, or Guilfoyle refers to me as effeminate Katie Lang, I know this is a joke among friends. It was not a joke. We're not friends. <laughs> See, it's hilarious. Oh, uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. My best friend's nickname is Cunty. I'm sorry, her name is? Cunty. And I was hoping I could call her Cunty while I'm here. Okay, that one's easy. No, you cannot. Because, you know, I want to have Cunty come visit me for lunch, and if I can't call Cunty Cunty, then it's like, I'm not going to want to have Cunty over at all, which I feel like kind of violates my rights. Yeah, um, it does not. As a woman. Okay, I'm going to have to get back to you on that one. Your best friend's nickname is Cunty. Let's okay. Maybe get back to the kitchen so we can. Okay, okay, okay. So, in effect, the policy worked. Well, I just, can we not do any of it? It's just that they're getting really pissed and it's really distracting. All right. No more Cunty. Terrific. That's really good. Cunty's done. Great. But you said it again, but maybe that's the last time. Cunty's done. I'm going to call you OJ, though. Yeah, that's for good. Fine. That's for good. Yeah, yeah, because in my head, I changed the meaning from other Jared to original Jared, so now it's a compliment. It's how these guys operate. I mean, when Bill Gates got married on Lanai, he rented every helicopter on the Hawaiian Islands so that paparazzi couldn't use them to fly over. Although in that case, it was a positive because now you can imagine that wedding however you want. What? Nein. Das was sie wollen. Aber wie können sie alle tot sein? Ich würde mich an ihn kranschleichen und in die Kelle Morning, Rumi. I made you half calf. Oh, Richard. Yeah, I, um, I sweated through my sheets again. You sweated? You sure you didn't? Yes, I'm sure. It's just sweat, so. Do you think maybe you sweat from your urethra? No, I didn't sweat through my... You know what? Let's not talk about it. Because yeah. talking about it will only exacerbate... Stop. It. Yeah. Hey, um, 
When did you learn to speak German? What? I don't speak German. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. Yes, well, regardless of what we've decided on calling it, pounding caffeine and sugar's not exactly gonna help, but you know what might? Kegels. What? Kegels are a form of exercise that strengthen the pelvic floor. Now, yes, it's most commonly used by women to recover control of their vaginal muscles after childbirth, <laughs> but it can really help, <clears throat> you know, night sweats. Wow. Okay, we're not gonna talk about this anymore. I'm doing it right now. Clench. Unclench. Clench. Stop. Nicht will es sehen! Ich werde mich an ihn ranschleichen und in die Kehle aufschlitzen. Er werde mich Holy nie kommen. Shit. I wouldn't be so dismissive. There was a, a, a live stream of an eagle's nest last year that went viral and was getting millions of hits. And I don't want to be inflammatory, but next to a condor, an eagle looks like a common cackling. You can swat a concept, um, a department, or a new initiative. You can even swat a person, although you have to be careful. They might swat you back. <laughs> I want to swat you. Well, you can, because now you have the tools. Um. What does amyl nitrate do? Oh, it dilates the anus. That is accurate. Also produces euphoria. Okay, thank you, uh, Pete and Jared. Sure. So, grab a box. Guys, start pulling anything you think is relevant. Now, you may have to work pretty hard, but it'll free us from this lawsuit. Are you saying work will set you free? Yes. They have the manpower. We have the perseverance. Triumph of the will. He's the most cheerful person I've ever heard quote Hitler. So according to Schrodinger, if you open the box and confirm that the cat is dead, then in a sense, you've killed the cat. Or if you call the museum and get the information, then you've killed the egg. No, <laughs> that's silly. Is it? Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna think about it for a minute. You should have never called that museum, Jared. They're uh, on there pretty good. <laughs> Holy shit. Jared, you just killed that guy. I just got a text from Richard. I'm not gonna read it. I'm gonna compress the manifest. I'll kill the high spit rate to give us more headroom. I always wanted to be part of a suicide pact. What? That's not what we're doing. It says, it says aim at the base of the fire. That's the servers. If you hit those servers, you kill our live stream, Jared. All right, I, I don't know what to do. You want a 98? Maybe we should do a verbal SWAT analysis? Do it. Wait, Richard, I'm coming with you. Here, Jared, clear this. Get all the smoke out of it. Um, Otherwise, it damages the device. Um, don't be a pussy. Some of these Companies are pretty good. Flutterbeam's like really good. Of course it is. They all are. You're the bell of the ball. And these are all your swains hoping for a glimpse of ankle. Flutterbeam was the best company we looked at. Their tech is great, their offer is amazing. Actually, I'm kind of pumped. Well, your pumpness makes me pumped. Okay, you just got Okay. I'll do it. Yeah. Richard, do you think it'd be okay if uh, I took this box? I'm moving out of Noah's guest house after work. And you want to sleep in that box? <laughs> no, I haven't slept in a box in years, stop. Well, the eviction process is officially underway, but my attorney says it may take up to a year. Where are you gonna stay? Well, I always have my trick. All right, I'll bite, what's your trick? I simply imagine that my skeleton is me, and my body is my house, and that way, I'm always home. That was a bad decision. You flinched. Now the pain will never end. I'm, I'm sorry to say it, but Guilfoyle's right. You're making it worse. Sorry, Django. Django? <laughs> I'm Jane. Great. Now even fucking Jared is busting my balls. I am. I'm, I, I'm, I'm busting your balls. <laughs> You know what? If you're gonna give me shit for it anyway, I'm just gonna wear it. Okay, Jared, con congratulations, by the way, but... We go all Ocean's Eleven on his ass. Hold on. 
Ocean's Eleven? It's a 2001 casino heist film starring Julia Roberts and Eleven Men. I know what it is, Jared. All right, I'm in. Well, you're insane. No, Dinesh, that chain is insane. And not in the membrane. Sorry, Cypress Halal. <laughs> okay, Jared, settle down. Dinesh, I have a few premium chain insults that I'm going to lay on you when we get in there. Not for myself, obviously, but for the team. Yeah, I might just have one too. Sorry in advance. Yeah, great. Hey, Dinesh, nice chain. Do you choke your mother with it when you put your penis in her butt? What the fuck? Oh, uh, while well, I have you, there were fresh droppings near my cot. I think you were right. The have a heart traps don't seem to be working. I was thinking maybe we could just pick a day and, and just drench it in hawk urine because the scent of a predator can keep rodents at bay. It's funny we're named Pipe Piper, but we're beset with rats. Little rascals. <laughs> I just hope I don't end up fired over this. Well, what you did took incredible guts. And the fact that it probably won't make any difference makes it all the more meaningful. Right? I saw this nature documentary where a bison fought a lion to protect the rest of the herd. And it was so moving. Um, it didn't work. The, the lion uh, tore into the bison and then laid waste to the herd. But what courage. Thank you. Jared. You're like one of those priests who lit themselves on fire to protest the Vietnam War. You're like the Secret Service agent who dives on the president and, and catches a bullet. And the president still dies, but he dies slower because your body stopped the bullet. Not from entering him, but from entering him at a rate that would have killed him instantly. Okay. Oh, um, word to the wise. The Hayworths are like a spa day for the buttocks. Yeah. And I have a fragile posterior. My aunt used to call me glass hole. So you can take it from me. OK, well, what's going on is not necessarily lost, OK? We just need to find it. I found my retainer in a school dumpster. I found my biological father in a militia up in the Ozarks. This should be no problem. You made me so proud, I feel like the whole night sky is inside my chest. I just want to memorize this moment. OK. I am so proud of you, I could puke. God darn it. Gosh, in heaven, and I love you. This is honestly like the best birthday gift that I ever could have asked for. It's your birthday? Uh, I don't know. The CPS worker couldn't find my birth certificate, but maybe now it is. I had a stuffed animal named Winnie. Oh, wow. I mean, it wasn't technically an animal. I took a, a Ziploc bag, and I stuffed it with old newspaper, and then I, I drew a smile on it. Things were just going so well <laughs> until she. <laughs> yeah, that was completely lovely. That's really nice. You're really something. I'll give you a call later, OK? OK, cool. Yeah, great. Sounds good. Bye, Jerry. Bye. Jared? Yeah? Who was that? Oh, that was Carol. So, uh, Jared, did, did you just have sex with her? I'm an adult, and like the rest of you, I'm a sexual being. You fucked her in the garage? Well, it's a server room and my bedroom. What? So you just meet a woman and then you have sex with her? How often has this happened? Well, if you're asking me how many times I've been in love, the answer is two. But the rest I won't talk about. It's untoward. Russ was right. This guy fucks. Who was that gorgeous gazelle in the driveway? Oh, I've said all I care to. Let's move on. She let Jared have sex with her. Jared, nice, using that dick. I don't want to count our chickens before they hatch. I mean, 3% of hatchlings are born mutated or dead, but we may have a healthy brood on our hands. Can't you two see? You're each other's best friends. Fuck, Fuck you, you, Jared. Jared. Jinx, you owe each other a friendship. <laughs> hey, Thomas, is it me or is it a bit chilly in here? <laughs> what in God's name is that? <laughs> what do you think it is? It's a jacket. <laughs> now, I only ordered one as a sample, but, but once I have your sizes, we can all have them. Why would we all want them? One is already too many. I don't mean in the house, I mean like in the world. Now, Guilfoyle, I have you at about a 40 long, am I right? 
If my mother was naked and dead in the street, I would not cover her body with that jacket. <laughs> Kill. <laughs> Jared, now that you're here, um, yeah. we need two new tables in their game room. Okay. Well, maybe against the doors. Oh, hold on. There's more. <laughs> Pied Piper, because awesome world-changing compression company would take up too much space. And you guys gave me shit for a tiny gold chain. I regret nothing. I'm replacing you on the board, and I'm giving your seat to Jared. <sighs> Jared, are you okay? It's just so many emotions. The board seat, I feel regret and, and glee that you would choose to honor me and terror and not living up to your expectations and compassion for Ehrlich's loss. Oh, Donald, you've come undone. <laughs> the fuck is going on with you? Hmm? Could you be more specific? You're hiding something. <laughs> no, I'm not. Everything's fine, you know, everything's fine. That's a lie. I can tell because you subscribe to traditional Judeo-Christian mores of right and wrong. You're made uncomfortable by untruth. <laughs> My commitment to Levain Satanism grants me certain freedoms. There is no good and evil. There's only self. Would you like a beverage? Yes, I would. Lie. You just want me to go to the bar and leave you alone. <laughs> You crack me up. Lie. <laughs> I terrify you, as I should. <laughs> Richard, I'm, I'm sorry the guys didn't like Pipey. It's over, Jared. Well, you know, a lot of animated characters have rough starts. Early Bugs Bunny cartoons were just garish displays of anti-Japanese hysteria. And now he's the face of Warner Brothers. Would you like some tea? I can put a kettle on the hot plate. Oh, no, I'm fine, thank you. There's no trouble. You know what, I have a box of, of Russell Stover's. If the spiders didn't get into them. You know, just enough to qualify as a daily active user. Classic click farm behavior. And then I remembered our conversation in the bathtub. And it just, it had to be you. Richard, I am so sorry. It's okay. Would it make you feel better to, to strike me? You and I, right now, are the only ones that know about it, okay? And in a few weeks, when we run out of money, this will all be over anyway. Richard? Yes? We have a secret. Yeah. Jared, have you been crying? Yes, but for ordinary reasons. Please, go on. You still believe that, right? That. If given enough time, the platform will catch on. Richard, don't weaponize my faith in you against me. In here? How does this compare with a typical All right, stop. Meeting? Everybody, just stop. <clears throat> we all know how this is going to go, so let's just get it over with. Right? Um, I vote yes. There. OK, I approve the sale. Three yes votes. Can this please just be done? Very well. I vote yes also. Irrelevant. But thank you. Even a whiff of fraud is a mortal sin for VCs. She needs to wash her hands of any Pipe Piper business. She's forcing a sale. Fuck. Yeah, frick. Yeah. But it is an open auction, and, you know, between the fraudulent numbers and the real numbers, you guys aren't exactly killing it out there, so there's a chance that no one will bid, and you might be able to buy back your own company for next to nothing. That'll have to be for literally nothing, because we're out of money. <laughs> Oh. Jesus, are you okay? Yeah, we're fine. 